if there's, there's a trauma to the brain, there's probably a trauma held throughout the body. Maybe there's not a trauma to the brain, but there is a trauma held in the body. A trauma can be held in this body or, or any body for 20, 30, 40 years, as well as 20, 30, 40 hours. Um, and the place to drain that trauma out was discovered by a guy named Fred Houston, who has uh, put together contact healing uh, points. He channeled them in. He lives in Sedona, got a book out, wonderful discoveries he made, or rediscoveries. But he found that if you go down just from the corner of the shoulder, just slightly down, you'll find a slight hollow. Now, do this on yourself. Feel, find your corner and then go down and you'll find a little hollow there. Now, the hollow is caused because the, the neck of the bone or the head of the arm bone coming into the shoulder leaves that little indentation for you. So you find that hollow on both sides and get in the center. And when you're in the right spot, you're going to feel a little buzz or like a little electrical charge that goes on underneath your fingers. The person you're working on is going to be able to even confirm it. So use the pad of your middle finger on each side is best. Push it in, not hard, just lightly. And again, it's just a matter of hold on and let nature do the work. The subject will usually feel it. There's often a little pulse that goes under. You'll hang on until that buzz begins to simply subside. And in the process of it subsiding, what you'll normally find is first the left shoulder begins to relax, then the right shoulder begins to relax, and then both shoulders begin to relax. And the person will look at you and say, I didn't even know I was holding the tension. I've had some, I've done this on children sometimes, and the children literally went to sleep on me. It, they know how to relax. I think we should take a few lessons. But anyway, hold on to this for trauma. Now this can be physical trauma, it can be emotional trauma, something that happened years ago. It can be an operation. We consider operations quite a trauma. It can be any number of things that are held. But to hold on to it and drain out all that you can. And when I say drain out, that doesn't mean that the person doing it gets it. You're just allowing this person to drain their own trauma, and you're a catalyst for it to happen. It's pretty simple. If I were you watching this video, and if there's a bunch of you, get up in pairs and grab at each other's shoulders. And one of you be A and one of you be B, so A take care, hold of B's shoulders and hold them for a while, and then B turn around and take hold of A's shoulders. And see if you can't immediately feel the effect of this. I have a lot of professional friends who tell me that they've now taken this one trauma drain principle, and they literally start all of their treatments with a trauma drain, because it just makes it so easier for whomever you're working with, to relax, to let go of other tensions so you can get more to the heart of the issue. Chiropractors use it because it relaxes the person more than anything they've ever found, including their vibrator machines. Uh, and then they can f the bones simply glide into place in many instances. So it's useful for a number of things, including just being a good friend to somebody and helping them through a trauma.